Hello, hello. This is a quick update on the Sundnuka eruption. It is uh, still going, and uh, media reports have uh, well dwindled a little, but uh, the eruption is uh, still ongoing. It's weakening, but uh, there is no sign that it's stopping. It's almost a month now, so this makes it one of the longer eruptions now. And uh, this is, of course, important here when we think about the long-term consequences for the peninsula. We are likely uh, going to face many of those small eruptions uh, in the next years, I guess, and potentially decade. So let's have a little look at the eruption as it is right now. And I'm going to bring you over to my other screen here. And uh, here we have the live cam. And uh, this is the main vent. The eruption is now focused on a single vent. It started off as a fissure, as we all know. And uh, the number of vents has been going down gradually. And now it's one main vent that has built up quite a sizable cone. The height of the cone is several tenths of meters now. And when you stand in front of it, it's quite impressive, actually. And um, there's various views we can choose. Let me just go to the other one here. So uh, here is a close up and uh, you can a little bit at least look into the, the vent. And of course there is a bubbling magma in there. It's quite uh, intense. And uh, there you have little fire fountains that come from gas that is emitted from the rising magma in the conduit. The uh, lava field is mainly going to the south, and uh, here is the roof camera. Uh, this is the Icelandic uh, national television station. There is the vent we've just looked into, and uh, this is the southern lava field. The lava field is not dramatically expanding a little bit close to the vent, but uh, mainly it's adding lava on top of the already existing lava field. And this is what we're seeing here. So uh, here in uh, the center and to the right of the image, we see that lava pond that partly solidifies. Every now and then the lava pond flows uh, towards the side, it overflows, and then we get these outbreaks and uh, some of these lava field or lava pond outbreaks are quite spectacular. When uh, I was visiting the other day, uh, we witnessed one of them and uh, they can be quite fast and quite rapid. So, but the uh, most important event over the last little while was actually the lava fall from the vent itself. Here's just another view of the vent. And uh, this is now MBL. This is one of the news outlets on Iceland. And there we see the vent. And there we see this little outlet here at the bottom that feeds this lava onto the side. And here at uh, the bottom right, we see that uh, this is uh, actually, you know, building up for the next overflow in a short while. So when we go to the lava fall, this is uh, spectacular footage online of the lava fall from April 7th. I missed that. Um, it's uh, happened in the late afternoon, early evening, and I was already back on the way to Reykjavik then. And uh, here is the overflow of uh, the actual crater and they were quite spectacular. So at that point, the lava had reached a level and it was flowing down and feeding the southern lava lobe, but also flowing to the north here. So for a short while, lava was again flowing to the north as well, not just to the southern pond. This is important. This means the area north of the vent is not safe at this point. Lava can spill over and can migrate to the north as well. So this brings me on to close here. And this is the last uh, uh, video I want to show right now. This is in a beautiful multi-view again. And um, there we see different views of the crater. We've seen similar ones in the last few minutes, and this is the one actually from another angle. There you can see the wind is very high there, and there we see that uh, the gas is being blown out, and again it's going mainly to the south and to the west at this point. I would like to quickly take you also to the uh, Icelandic Met office. They come up with a lava uh, production with a average flow rate of 3.6 meters cubed per second, which is uh, significant, but not outrageously high. And uh, 
they're also talking about the uh, events of April 7th. This is from April 9th. And they're also talking about the SO2 emission that is mainly going to the south and west right now. Uh, the lava map here is very interesting. I want to spend a minute with it. So here we have the barriers. And uh, in the various videos I posted, uh, I showed you uh, a video from here, just outside Grindavik. I still have some from here, which I need to post. And then uh, we also had a look at the road over the lava field here. And we passed this bit of lava outside the Blue Lagoon. And then of course we went in there from the barrier from here and we looked at the vent here. Here in the center, that's the thickest. This is where the lava pond is. And uh, this is producing a very thick lava field here. And here the thickness uh, color scheme gives us an idea of how thick it actually is. So close to the vent, we're talking about over 20 meters thickness now. That's going to take some time to cool. So the sand colored uh, lava field and the red here, that is what's very recent. But uh, then the older one, this is from December 23. This is from February and this is from January. So we still have access to the older lavas, but uh, the sand color is the recent eruption that's been going on. There is very limited risk now for this tongue down here continuing towards the sea and destroying this little uh, settlement of Rhone. And uh, it's not, we cannot fully exclude it, but right now the lava volume that's emitted is not high enough to make the lava field grow at its furthest edges, but rather it adds to the thickness of the lava field, as I said. So from that point of view, I think, um, this concludes the little uh, the little summary I wanted to give. And uh, let's just see, maybe I'll go back to one of the beautiful views here of uh, the system. Let's bring it up to date. So here we are. And uh, so I expect the eruption has now stabilized itself while the intensity might be dwindling and the lava uh, eruption rate might be going down ever so slightly. There is still uh, increased, uh, sub, uh, there's increased inflation in the Schwarzengi area. It hasn't stopped. It's mild, but it's still going on. So the eruption will likely continue for a short while longer. So thank you very much. And uh, I'll uh, stop this here and uh, I'm going to say goodbye. Have a wonderful weekend. All the very best. Bye-bye.